okay still on the fight against corruption all right so um so far so good efcc has given update on um on saraki's case all right so um they have revealed when it will arraign saraki in court so the efcc has revealed that it's planned to arraign the former senate president bukola saraki on charges of alleged money laundering and looting is still on course so the anti-craft agency is accusing dr saraki of looting the Kwara state treasury during his time as governor of the state between 2003 and 2011. so it was gathered that the plans by the efcc to arraign saraki in court had earlier hit the brick um, after a restraining order granted against the EFCC by Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Federal High Court Abuja. So Justice Taiwo um, had granted an expert order restraining the commission and five other agencies of the federal government from continuing its investigations of corruption allegation against Saraki. So however, um, a senior EFCC operative confided in punch that Saraki's arrangement um, cannot be stopped by any court order. So he actually said that um, we have already protested against the restraining order to the chief judge. We will not waste time in arraigning the former Senate president once the order granted by um, Justice Taiwo is vacated and the case is transferred to a different judge. Okay, so uh, Mr. Taraki will have his day in court soon. Nothing can stop it. So the source um, noted that the commission had strongly protested against the restraining order to the chief judge of the Federal High Court Abuja, Justice Abdul um, uh, Kafariti, Kafarati. So meanwhile, the EFCC has also reacted to the claim by Dr. Saraki that its boss, okay, Ibrahim Magu, begged him for confirmation when he was still the Senate president. So he described as false um, the claim that um, its acting chairman beg the former Senate president for confirmation. So reacting in a statement on Sunday, EFCC spokesperson Tony stated that um, no amount of media campaign against Magu will stop the prosecution of Bukola Saraki. So the EFCC in a statement comes after Saraki said that um, the boss of the EFCC had visited him in 2016 and begged him to ensure that he was confirmed by the senate okay so um that is the story so far about the um the alleged corruption case between saraki and the efcc okay so remember saraki had um gotten a court order from justice um taiwo taiwo okay um asking him um asking the efcc not to continue its investigation against him all right so um efcc said um between the period of 2003 and 2011 when he was still the state governor so um uh, uh, saraki actually was involved in money laundering and other um corruption cases so efcc says he's going to investigate it but very since he got the court order restraining the efcc and other agency to investigate him efcc still says um they are going to see how they are going to you know, revert the court order and continue its investigation. So what is your take, what is your um, contribution? Personally, for me, I believe if Saraki is um, innocent, um, I really don't see reason why he will need a court restraining the security agencies to carry out its duty, okay? So um, it really therefore means that maybe there's something wrong somewhere, okay? So I'm not trying to say that he um, the allegation is true, okay? I'm not saying the allegation is true or not, but um, uh, the reason why he asked the court to restrain the EFCC from investigating him, it looks so suspicious. All right, so that's the story so far. If you have anything to contribute, you can put it down on the comment section below. Remember, this is across Nigeria, where we do news and politics, celebrities, and also metro stories. So if this is your first time here, um, there is a red subscribe button down the video below so you click on that red subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever we bring you political story and what is happening in nigeria i will see you guys in the next video